What's up, y'all? JJ the barber here. I'm gonna cut my own hair, finna show you how I do it with my own hair. I need to fade, bruh. I need to get cut, bruh. So let's get this thing started, bruh. I'll try to do my best. See, I got this little thing right here. This is what I use to help me get my angles right, you know? So, yes, sir. So, right now, I'm gonna take this right here, my trimmers. I'm gonna make my line right here to do it. Hope y'all be able to see, you know? Yes, sir. So I got my Andy Slimline Pros making that ball line from the top of my ear to the corner of my box. As y'all can see, I got a small box, you know. Or maybe it's just a really big head, you know. Whatever. So now in the back, doing the same thing. Balding out. Well, my, yeah, making that ball line. And for my haircut, I like my ball line to curve up right there. You can see it right there. I like mine to curve up as well as my fade. I like my fade to go and curve up as well. I think it gives it a little cleaner look for me, for my head. And yeah, I've been cutting my hair ever since the seventh grade, you know? I don't know if y'all seen that other video, but right here, um, Anderson Masters, lever closed, going up a little bit. Like I said, I got a small area to work with right there. So these lines are gonna be small. Then I opened up my lever right here, and I'm going up a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put the lever in the middle, and then knock out that the hairs, um, knock out those other hairs, you know, that, that middle line. Now I got the one guard and I'm taking, trying to get some of that bulk from the top. Uh, I'm not making no line or anything. I'm just flicking outwards, flicking up to get it to blend into the, my top. That's all I'm doing. Then right here, that's the, uh, the, um, the zero guard. I'm trying to blend out that line. Oh my bad, this is the zero guard. Zero guard right here, lever close. But basically, you know, trying to get that line out. Putting putting in that blend, you know. Then I flip it over. It helps me fade it, get a crispier fade. Gets those hairs to lay down. Helps me see what's really going on. And as you with my right hand, I'm pulling my skin down. Well, I mean, that's my left hand, but it's in the mirror. So my left hand, I'm pulling my skin down, stretching it. You know, when you do that, it's like you're zooming in. Zooming into your fade, and uh, you can see the hairs more individually, I guess. And then right here, I, I got uh, my Indus Masters no guard trying to touch up. I got the lever open, trying to touch up that fade. Using the corner. Make it look, look crisp. Then my five star shaver, shaper. Making that last transition at the bottom, balding out at the bottom. Trying to fade the balder as well, cause I don't want to make no other line. And right here I got my lever closed on the zero gaps. Trying to get that very faint bottom line. Now this is the one guard. I'm going down. I like it to be short around the sides. Uh, fits my head better. Um, usually what I'll do, I'll, after I do this with the one guard, I'll do flipper over comb to get them to blend into the top. But to, to, to that, that day when I did it, um, it already automatically blended, looked good. So right here I got lever closed and um, going with that, that ball line, you know? Curving with the ball line, going up just a little bit, as y'all can see. Then I opened up that lever, doing the same thing, going a little bit higher. And 
Y'all can see my cord is like tangled. Tangled as fuck. guard lever open and I'm um, taking some of that bulk out what you're gonna see me do in this video um I want it to be like a taper before this my hair it was kind of like a drop fade with a little taper it was shaped like a drop fade but it really wasn't a drop fade I guess but right here um I want it to be a taper so instead of making that curve going around I'm just going across, you know, if you get what I mean. Like right here, I got the two guard and I'm cleaning up, you know, taking some of that hair off that was back there because of the, the drop face shape. Zero guard, put it in that blend. Flicking out, you know, not being so rough with it, not being so harsh with it. Keeping it nice and smooth, you know, zero, zero uh, guard. And then right here, I open it up a little bit, make the fade a little better. You know, you can play with it, do what you gotta do, you know. Same thing I did to the other side, but there was no way I could show you with me using it by mirrors like this. So I did the other side basically the same way I did the first side. So if you wanna know how to do the other side, watch the first side again. Right now I'm gonna do my edge up. And as you see, I, I kind of brushed those front hairs down. Uh, when I was drawing my hair, I used to cut it down with the on one. But now I'm trying to get to the point where I'm just not even gonna cut it down like that no more. I'm gonna let it grow. But I'm gonna still try to brush it down. Well, not brush it down, but like cut the very the very tip of it down, you know, make it smooth. But in this cut, I really didn't have to do that. So my edge up is weird, bro. I don't know. It's just like those the sides. They're not fully in there, you know. I got a big head, yeah, but this is what I do, man. I get a cut, and it, it look good, you know?
I didn't really show the whole edge up, the front edge up. Um, after I cut the video off, I was looking in the mirror and I seen it was you know as straight as it could be. So I went back and did it. So you're gonna see me do it, but um, I actually touched it up a little bit more after the video. And right here, I'm just, you know, trimming down my sideburns, getting my facial hair, you know, just a little song, a little touch. It's not growing in, but I'm, I'll be cutting it like it is, like, that's just how I do it sometimes. That's how I do it. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Baby. JJ the Barber.